Visualize about an arrow's length above your head, an array as vast as the ocean of beautiful offerings. In front of these offerings, visualize a thousand-petaled white lotus, which symbolizes freedom from the contamination of cyclical existence. Then visualize on that lotus a perfectly round moon disk, which looks like the full moon on the 15th day of the lunar month. This moon disk represents the absence of all faults and the presence of all good qualities, the perfection of purification and realization. Instantaneously, like a shooting star, a brilliant white whom syllable appears on the moon disk. This whom indicates the inseparability of emptiness and enlightenment. The blessings of the body, speech, mind, good qualities, and activities of all the Buddhas in the ten directions, as well as all the wisdom, compassion, strength, and essence of the entire sentient world, completely sink into and infuse the syllable whom, which appears brilliantly, radiant, like having completely woken up from a dream. Instantaneously, the whom transforms into your incomparable and glorious root guru, whose nature is the treasure of compassion. He takes the enjoyment body, or Sambhogakaya, form of Vajrasatra whose entity is one with the hundred peaceful and wrathful deities. This Vajrasattva is white in color, like a snowy mountain, peak lit by a hundred thousand suns. His body is clear like the reflection of the moon and water, or like an image reflected in a mirror. He appears yet has no intrinsic existence. Thus pray. Alas, Guru Vajrasattva, please recall the aspirations you made. We, your helpless children in the ocean of the three realms, who have experienced for eons and eons endless and incomparable suffering, we beseech you to bless us with your great loving kindness and compassion. Please take care of us and never abandon us. Then, confess in this way. From beginningless time until now, influenced by attachment, hatred, and ignorance, I have with acts of body, speech, and mind, knowingly and unknowingly, committed so many misdeeds, both natural and those designated so by the Buddha, such as the ten non-virtues, the five inexplicable misdeeds, the five similarly inexplicable wrongdoings, thus violating the precepts of the three vehicles, and so on. Please take care of me with your great wisdom. Please watch over me with your compassionate eyes. Please listen to my confession with your divine ears. Today, I have nothing good to tell. Only all the countless wrong actions I have committed from beginningless time. Now, I will confess in the correct way. Please cleanse and purify all my negative karma right now. Please grant your blessings to destroy all my negative karma before I finish this meditation session. Next, in front of Vajrasattva, aspire with deep conviction to refrain from any negative actions by thinking or saying out loud. From now on, even if my life is in danger, I will never commit any negative action again. Next, we pray remembering the four opponent powers. O Guru Vajrasattva, please recall your great aspiration in the past. I and other suffering sentient beings supplicate you. Please keep us in your care with great compassion. From beginningless time until now, we have committed many evils with body, speech, and mind. As though I had taken poison, 
I now deeply regret them and thoroughly confess them all. From now on, even if it costs me my life, I will never commit any non-virtuous acts. In the heart of Guru Vajrasattva, visualize a small white lotus disc. Upon this lotus is a white moon disc. Upon that is a white Vajra. At the grip of the Vajra is a white hum, finely drawn as though with a strand of hair. Visualize every syllable in the hundred syllable mantra and circling the hum at the center. Recite the hundred syllable mantra once as a prayer. Om Benzerasato Samaya Manupalaya Benzerasato Teno Pachi Chaji Jome Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anurakto Me Bawa Sarwa Sete Me Aprayatsa Sarwa karma zutsa me chicham sri ankurum hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sarwa tatha gata benzara mame munsara benzara ba ma samaya satuva While reciting the mantra softly and continuously, visualize white nectar of wisdom and compassion descending continuously from all the body parts of Guru Vajrasattva. This nectar enters through the crown of the head into you and all other sentient beings. Imagine that all the diseases of you and other sentient beings are flushed out of the body in the form of rotten blood and pus. Visualize all the negative obstacles of yourself and other sentient beings being expelled from the body in the form of frogs, fish, snakes, toads, spiders, bugs, and the like. Imagine that the enormous burden of negative actions committed through the body, speech, and mind of yourself and other sentient beings from beginningless time turns into black liquid, smoke, clouds and vapors, and so forth, and is expelled from the body. Envisage the earth beneath you opening up, and like an unstoppable flood, the stream of white nectar cleans away all the blood, pus, frogs, black liquid, and so forth, all freely gushing from all your pores and flowing down into the earth. In the earth, visualize Yama, the Lord of Death, surrounded by all the beings, to whom you owe karmic debts as well as all those seeking revenge upon you. Their mouths are open wide and their arms reach out with grasping hands. The pus, blood, frogs, smoke, black liquid and so forth all run into their mouths, arms and hands. Now at the same time recite the hundred syllable mantra. Meditate on the visualization and recitation repeatedly. After this, Yama and all the debtors and foes below you underground are appeased and satisfied, and so the resentment is melted away. The debts are cleared, and the negative obscurations are purified. Therefore, the Lord of Death and all the rest close their mouths and hands and lower their arms. The rift in the earth begins to close up. At the end of this recitation, visualize your body 
and the bodies of all other sentient beings as having become transparent like clear crystal, but with a luminous quality. Visualize a long tube like a fluorescent light going from the top of your head to about four fingers below the navel. This tube is straight, luminous, and sheer. This is your central channel. At each of the four centers of your body, visualize that this channel branches out into four umbrella-like wheels, or chakras. At the level of your navel is the wheel of manifestation, with 64 channel pedals or spokes curving upward. At the level of your heart is the wheel of Dharma, with eight channel pedals curving downward. At the le level of your throat is the wheel of enjoyment, with 16 channel pedals curving upward. At the crown of your head is the wheel of great bliss, with 32 channel pedals curving downward. Imagine that the white nectar completely fills the wheel of great bliss at the crown of your head, the wheel of enjoyment at your throat, the wheel of dharma at your heart, and the wheel of manifestation at your navel. Then the nectar spreads out through the four wheels into every part of the body, beginning to fill it like glass. The whole body is full of white nectar, and looks like a crystal vase full of milk. When the nectar descends to the wheel of great bliss at your crown, you and all sentient beings obtain the vase empowerment. Having purified all karmic obscurations, the wisdom of joy arises in your mental continuum, and the fruit of Nirmanakaya is obtained. Next, when the nectar descends to the wheel of enjoyment at your throat, you and all sentient beings obtain the secret empowerment. With all the obscurations of afflictive emotions purified, the wisdom of supreme joy arises in your mental continuum, and the fruit of Sambhogakaya is obtained. Then, when the nectar descends to the wheel of Dharma at your heart, you and all sentient beings obtain the wisdom empowerment. Now, all the cognitive obscurations are purified, and so the wisdom of extreme joy arises in your mental continuum, and the fruit of Dharmakaya is obtained. Finally, when the nectar descends to the wheel of manifestation at your navel, you and all sentient beings obtain the word empowerment. Having purified all the karmic obscurations, the wisdom of innate joy arises in your mental continuum, and the fruit of Svabhavikaya the pure essence body is obtained. Guru Vajrasattva looks at you with eyes of compassion. He gives empowerments with a gentle hand, full of blessings and grants the liberation from all kinds of negative karma. Through this, you and all sentient beings accomplish the city or attainment of both worldly perfection and transcendental merit at each of the different stages and paths. Then, recite the verse for confessing and the verse for requesting the bestowal of Siddhi. The verse for confessing. O protector, out of stupidity and ignorance, I have not kept my Samaya properly. Guru protector, Vajradhara, I pray to you for protection and liberation. Guru of all sentient beings, your nature is great compassion. To you, I go for refuge. The verse for accomplishing Siddhi. Please watch us all with your compassionate eyes, bestow liberation with your gentle hand, and purify the Samaya that I and other sentient beings break or lose. Grant us all the common and uncommon supreme Siddhis now. I and other sentient beings have broken and lost the major and minor Samaya pledges of the body, speech, and mind. For all these we confess deeply. I beg you please, cleanse and purify all our karmic obscurations, 
negative obscurations, and other stains. Guru Vajrasattva is delighted and says with a smile, Noble sons and noble daughters, all the negative obscurations you have accumulated are purified completely. Thus he bestows purification. Guru Vajrasattva then dissolves into light, which then dissolves into your body. As this light dissolves into your body, you and all sentient beings transform into Buddha, Vajrasattva, transparent, white as the moon, sitting in the Vajra position and radiating wisdom light in all directions.